it's Lee here and today, first and foremost, sorry that I have no makeup on. I really just CVF right now. Today I have a video which is going to be another haul and today's haul is going to be on vegan eyeshadow little doohickey things. What are these called? Pants. Pants. <laughs> Eyeshadow pants. Woo so basically I have gone through all my makeup and gotten rid of the eyeshadows that I thought were vegan but aren't vegan. So there's obviously a very big difference between cruelty free and vegan products. So I had a lot of cruelty free products. Everything that I own is cruelty free. But in terms of vegan products, I had almost next to none in the eyeshadow department. Do you know why? Because Carmine is in almost everything. It's basically just crushed up beetle, so that's the way it's good. If you want to know where your pinks and reds come from, that's the one. I stumbled along this brand called Makeup Dig, and a lot of my favorite beauty YouTubers love these products, and they say they're like their favorite ones, like ever so I was like okay then I checked them out and I saw they had quite a few vegan options on their website themselves the American website they have a vegan option which I think is the best thing that I've seen any company do like ever to go onto an eyeshadow website and then have a vegan thing where it just brings up all the vegan eyeshadows is amazing so first and foremost thank you makeup geek like so I went through found the ones that I wanted so that they don't really ship to Australia so then I found beauty bay and they shipped makeup geek shadows to Australia so I was like I'm gonna get on that let's get ahead with this haul it's gonna be like a haul's first impressions makeup geek vegan eyeshadows I don't know how to do this stuff guys let's just like just bear with me please it's so ironic that I'm doing a beauty video without any makeup on <laughs> yeah Leah yeah okay so I'm gonna start off with first and foremost I bought a freaking Z palette to put all my eyeshadow pans in it's a empty eyeshadow palette where you stick eyeshadows that you want in here by the magnetic backs that they have and they obviously come with Magnetic things as well, which is really cool. This is like $23 or something, really good. Also, with the Makeup Geek items, they were very, very cheap. I ended up getting so many. With the Z palette and then shipping, it was like $160 or something, which is like two freaking eyeshadow palettes in realistic. So they are cheap AF in my opinion. BRB, I'm gonna put all these in my palette and then I'm gonna show you in the palette because why the frick not? They're really, really quite cute, I think. They look cute as. Woo! These eyeshadow pans to pull them out and then put them into the Z palette is so simple. You literally like lift up the back, pull it out, open it up, then your little pan is just like sitting in there like so. You pull it out, you grab your thing, and it just sticks to it. Have you ever seen anything more simple? I freaking haven't. I'm so impressed. Alrighty, guys, so I finished my palette, so that's what it looks like. How freaking cute! I'm so like, I love that I got to put together. I went definitely a lot for like the pinks. So these ones are the pressed ones, and these are the foiled ones. So basically, I'm gonna go through, tell you what they're called, swatch them on my arm. So. Let's do this. Beauty hits the short but crazy one. Here we go. We're gonna start with Shimmer Shimmer, okay guys? Wowzer, okay, let's go. That's Shimmer Shimmer. It's like a really pigmented white baby pink color. Confection is the next color. This is Confection. As you can see, it's a lot less pigmented. I will say now, like, it was a lot more harder for me to pick it up and I had to go back a few times to get the swatch, so. That's Confection. Petal Pusher is this one. There's Petal Pusher. The next color looks stunning. Like, oh my god, it's so pretty. This one's Anarchy and it looks so pretty. <gasps> oh my god, it's so pretty. So that one's Anarchy. Look at it. Oh my freaking god. Next one we have is Sen Sensuous. Sen Sensuous? Is that how you say it? I don't freaking know. Oh yeah, that's nice. So that scent just down the end. Is that how I, like honestly, like I don't think that's how you say it. My last sort of pink is this one called Roulette. When I saw this on the website, I almost died. I was like, I need that in my life, something chronic. <gasps> oh my God, okay. <gasps> what the frick? <laughs> Look at it. Oh my god, so freaking pretty. That was just one swatch. Like, it was like, whoop. oh my god, it was like, it was happening. Alrighty, so let's go on to our browns now. First color I'm gonna pick up is Tiki Hut. So, as you can see, it's just a nice 
neutral brown and I really like that. I feel like everyone needs that like go-to standard brown and that I feel is gonna be mine from now onwards. The next one we're picking up is Frappe, which I've heard a lot of people talk about. <gasps> so nice. So this is a lot more pink than what I thought it was gonna be, but my god. <laughs> How stunning is that? Oh my goodness, I love it. Right, next we're picking up Coco Bear. Ooh, that's nice. That is very nice. Yes. All right, so that was the end of my um, baked eyeshadows for Makeup Geeks, and now I'm gonna go on to the foils. Look at them. Are they not the most stunning things you've ever seen in your life? Huh. First one is In the Spotlight. These feel so creamy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. How stunning. So pretty. The next one is called Grandstand. <gasps> oh my god. Okay. Okay. What the frick is that? That has to be one of the most prettiest pink shades that I've ever seen in my whole entire life. Like, I'm dead. Okay, the next one is Flame Thrower. Oh my god. This is so pigmented. Look at that. One last shade to go and then we'll be done with the whole entire video. Last shade is Showtime. Okay, all in all, these foiled eyeshadows are amazing. Look at all of them. Alrighty guys, so that was my vegan makeup geek eyeshadow haul. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big old thumbs up. And all in all, I feel really impressed with almost all the colors. I will say that the foiled eyeshadows obviously are a big standout. They're so pretty, but even when I was washing them off just then, they're a little bit harder to get off than the other ones, which is a good sign to me because I want them to be long lasting. So foiled eyeshadows. I'm so impressed. And guys, it's so important to keep your makeup vegan and cruelty free. Like the things that animals have to go through to get tested to then go onto your skin. And people are just so oblivious to it all. And it's just really sad. So please, please pay attention to the cosmetics industry and animal testing in general. You don't want to be a part of it, guys. Like I can show you videos. You don't want to be a part of it. But I'm so happy Makeup Gig has such a big range of vegan eyeshadows. So definitely go check them out. Out, guys um obviously this video is not sponsored at all i bought that all myself but i'm just honestly i'm so chummed that i can finally have an eyeshadow palette that has so many pink shades and it's vegan Woo. if you're new here please subscribe and put out new videos every thursday here on the short but crazy one and they're a bit of a mishmash of everything i'm not normally a beauty person so thumbs up for a beauty video without makeup on <laughs> Woo. Alrighty, guys i love you all so much and i'll see you next thursday with another video